EC in Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning, my name is Rob Clayton, and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar for the sixth executive day pushes on towards that top side, however, struggling now after retreating from the resistance close to 77 cents after printing a high of 89. From the current pattern, although we are still slightly in a bullish sentiment, it should be noted that from the shorter term indicators, they are declining. And I feel that the market will increase supply from the resistance around 76.85 to 77 cents and see a move now down to the short term trend, which you could draw in around 76.40. A break of 76.40 would ease the pressure from the upside and expect to see further weakness, given the potential target of 75.70 and lower down towards a recent challenge area of 75 cents. As I mentioned, any advances should be contained from the resistance of 76.35 and higher around 77 to 77.25. The euro overnight quickly lost momentum after the market challenges the resistance around that 110.25 level and dropping back very heavily. With the focus now back on towards the downside, a break of 109.50 would expect further weakness towards 108.25 and lower with the objective of 107.40.70. Any advances towards 110.20.25 to 110.60, which was Friday's high, again should fail. Dollar yen breaking the short term uptrend now gives some concern that further weakness may be on the cards. However, until we get a break beneath 102.80, 70.80, I still feel that the market can actually achieve the, the objective of 105.10 to 105.75.80 and reassess from there. However, under 102.70 negates any bullish threat and would see further weakness with an objective of 101.05.30. Well, Sterling continued its bull run overnight after breaking above that 122 area and now looks towards the resistance of 123.75.95, currently trading at 122.96. The market still can rally on from any, from any mild retreat, however, would see a break of 122.50 negating the topside threat and instead put the 118 back into view. So it all lies on that 122.50 level today and while intact I'm still looking towards that um, 124 level and reassess from there. Gold showing a slightly positive tone overnight and now looks towards a resistance of 12.68. A clear rejection from there would turn the focus back towards 12.40 and lower down towards 12.28. However, do note, next 24 hours, if we get a break above 68, then this would merit further advance towards 76 to 82. No change in oil, still capped at 52.20, with the focus still holding towards that 49.40 area, with $46 underneath as an objective. In light of the current pattern, I do support further weakness. However, a break above 52.20 would negate the downside and instead put a 54 and a half objective. So keep that in view for the next couple of days. As I say, I still like to see further weakness. Well, thank you very much for joining me this morning and I hope you enjoy your day ahead.